Hey there, everybody. Well, as the Jets are four and six here, emerging from their bye week, six games remaining in the regular season. Let's take a couple minutes here and take a quick look ahead to the offseason and specifically the quarterback situation, how the Jets will attack uh, their giant question mark that's been lingering for years and years in terms of their search for a franchise quarterback. Typically, teams don't find a, a franchise quarterback in free agency or via trade. It happens for sure, um, but more often you draft and you develop a guy, whether you're talking about Eli Manning years ago with the Giants, Carson Wentz more recently with the Eagles, Derek Carr with the Raiders. Uh, but let's start with free agency in March. We're not, you know, It's not that far away here in late November from early March free agency. What will the Jets do there? How active Will they be in the potential hunt for Kirk Cousins? You'd have to think they'd at least show some level of interest there. Teddy Bridgewater is an interesting guy. He'll be a free agent, but he hasn't played since 2015 because of that knee injury, very serious knee injury. So will he be able to uh, ever rebound from that and become the player he appeared to be ascending toward being? Um, Tyrod Taylor is a really fascinating guy who is likely going to be available now that it appears the Bills are going to move on from him next offseason. The Bills have not really done a good enough job of playing to his strength. He's a dual-threat quarterback uh, who thrives in sort of a non-traditional uh, role, but the Bills really have not been able to make that work. Can the Jets make that work, whether it's under John Morton, their current offensive coordinator, or another offensive coordinator if there is a, co uh, a coaching change here? Uh, in terms of the draft, I mean, there's a bigger crop of guys, as always, available in the draft than there is in free agency in terms of the quarterback position. And this year in particular, 28 in, 2018 in particular, has a really fascinating mix of guys. You have some veteran guys, Mason Rudolph, the kid from Oklahoma State, and Baker Mayfield, the likely Heisman winner from Oklahoma who is, uh, to say the least, very passionate. Uh, so there, there's a couple of interesting, very proven guys there. If you look on the other end of the spectrum, you have some guys who have not played nearly as much. Josh Rosen, Josh Allen, uh, UCLA, Wyoming, and then from Southern California, Sam Darnold. So where will the Jets go in that regard? You know they're going to be scouting the heck out of all of these guys. They've been in on all these quarterbacks so far in terms of the scouting process throughout the 2017 season, as you would expect with Mike McCagnin's background being in college scouting uh, with the Texans. And uh, they had guys at the uh, Mike McCagnin and Brian Heimerdinger, his right man, hand man at the USC UCLA game, to see Rosen and Darnold in that game. So it'll be interesting to see. And another guy you throw in the mix, didn't even mention him, Lamar Jackson, the, the Heisman winner last year from Louisville. So uh, there's a really interesting mix of quarterbacks in the draft next year. And a lot, of, a lot of this will depend on where the Jets pick, right? So if they continue to win games, then they might play themselves out of the ability to pick one of these guys up high. And then they might have to go ahead and say, well, look, you know, maybe we'll, we're better off attacking this position in free agency. So six games remaining for a lot of this stuff to play out. And uh, never too early, I guess, to talk at length about the lingering search with the Jets for a franchise quarterback.